Hi, my name is Alan Sal, and I help students master AP Physics 1. One of the questions I get asked a lot is when should student take AP Physics 1? Like what's the requirement? What class, what year should they take it? What grade they should take it in? So the simplest answer is it does depend on the student itself. But let's talk about what things that you should be ready for, how to be best prepared for AP Physics 1. So you should have a pretty good knowledge of algebra before you take it. You don't necessarily need to be at the level of taking calculus, but it's very common for pre-calculus to be taken concurrently with AP Physics 1. Now, it turns out most of the things that you're gonna be doing in AP Physics 1 actually don't require very much pre-calculus. At most, they require some trigonometry. So I've had students successfully handle AP Physics 1 even while taking Algebra 2. The biggest challenge is going to be whether or not the algebra, their understanding of manipulating variables is, is good enough to handle some of the derivations we have to do in AP Physics. So that's why there has to be a certain level of experience in math in order to do well in AP Physics 1. But it's not as high. Like, I don't think it's necessary to take calculus. There are certain concepts that are somewhat easier to understand once you have gone through calculus. But that is not necessary, I would say. So the biggest things are have a really good handle of algebra, manipulating variables, things like that. Make sure you understand basic right triangle trigonometry, sine, cosine, tangent. And just as long as you're comfortable plugging in numbers, using a calculator, things like that, that will handle most of the math background that you need. So then the other part is like hard parts that most people come to me are not the math part, actually just the physics part of it. And that you can be ready at any time. You do not need to have biology or chemistry as a background. None of those will be helpful for you for physics. So you can take physics anytime as long as you have the satisfactory math prerequisites. Now AP Physics is a challenging class. You do need a good teacher to explain the concepts to you and to make sure you're set up for success, make sure you understand how to solve problems. A lot of the other things we've talked about in this video series, you wanna make sure you have all of that set up. But I've had students as young as ninth grade get fours and fives on the AP Physics 1 exam without any issue. They were taking pre-calculus or in one case, Algebra 2 concurrently with their AP Physics 1 class but they were doing absolutely fine in that. There are some students who have completed beyond calculus. They still find AP Physics 1 difficult, not because of the math part, but because they just don't understand some of the concepts. And until we go through and break down those concepts and how do we solve problems correctly, it doesn't really matter. I've had students in AP Physics 1 where they're taking multivariable calculus or they've already finished calculus BC and still the concepts are not super clear because again, the difficult part of AP Physics 1 is not the math part for most students. It's really just not having a clear understanding of how to actually apply those principles to those problems. So the right time to take it is when you have a good time in your schedule, it is a busy class. There are a lot of homework problems or practice problems you have to do to prep and to go through it. But as long as you can manage it in your schedule, and as long as you have a pretty solid math background, you're ready for AP Physics 1, honestly. I know it's listed as a college class, but I find their students with the right instruction, they can do really, really well in the program. So yeah, give me some feedback in the comments below about when you ended up taking AP Physics 1 and whether or not that was a good decision for you or not.